heart of the majestic mountain region, where the winds of change made the whispers of knowledge a unique gathering unfolded. <laughs> A gathering that would ignite inspiration, foster unity, and light the path for the teaching spirit that brought together over 600 souls. We've been here for the last three days. Uh, for the uh, regional teaching conference for the Northeast region. Uh, we've had uh, close to 600 participants uh, and uh, freely enjoyed the discussions uh, both in the plenary and in the groups. In our conference, we have been here for the Northeast region. We have been here for the Northeast region. We have been here for society. <laughs> We did realize uh, that uh, from the conference we'll have different kinds of participants and uh, ranging from junior children and even the adults and youth. So what we did is that uh, the regional coordinators came together, sat together and came up with a program that will be engaging the children and the junior youth. Uh, unlike uh, the one that the, the, the program that the adults will be using in their, uh, in their, in their study during the conference. So uh, after this deliberation, the regional coordinators even thought about the materials, uh, the, these participants, the children and the junior youth will be studying, uh, but also uh, who, will be, uh, who will be facilitating them. And in this case, we uh, engaged our sister region, that is um, uh, Southeast region, and uh, they gave us some resources, that is uh, animators and uh, teachers who came to our aid and uh, actually supported us uh, during the conference. So during the conference, there is one capacity that I did realize, uh, a capacity of the Bai communities in uh, Northeast region. And this capacity was uh, unique in its own way. And um, this capacity of mobilization. So we did realize that um, uh, we had uh, numbers, large numbers, unlike what we expected as a region, though we had uh, actually prepared for this um, uh, early in advance because, because of the process that had intensified in the region uh, gave us uh, a clue that we might register uh, higher numbers. The friends were able to appreciate that uh, teaching is a sacred duty for every believer. They were also able to understand the clear vision of what uh, the new world holder is and what it entails and their responsibility towards its implementation. Then also friends, not only the Baha'is but also the friends of the faith, were able to embrace the faith and uh, see the, the importance of uh, uh, implementing what uh, Baha'u'llah himself is advocating for the world of humanity. We were expecting around uh, 70 juniors. 
but then uh, uh, we had uh, we registered a, a, a number of uh, 105 junior youth who actually managed to to come to the to the conference. But then there is also a capacity I realized with the junior youth, uh, a capacity that the region we've been trying to learn around the capacity of networking of junior youth, that the junior youth in their social environments they are able to engage their fellow junior youth and invite them into the into the process. So this rise in number from 70 to upwards of 105 was a result of the conversation the junior youth had with their peers. Uh, in social environment, the schools, uh, the uh, playgrounds, and so on. So these, basically, these environments, uh, these uh, juniors invited their fellow uh, juniors to the conference, and then uh, they came and um, uh, participated in the conference. The mobilization team did a great job, and for this, you could, you could give them a vote of thanks to them, because one of the things that they did was identify people in the clusters or in the communities who could help in, mobilize, in mobilizing the the friends who were to attend the conference. We did realize also we had uh, two kinds of participants during the conference. Uh, that is in terms of the junior youth. So one kind of these participants was uh, uh, the junior youth who were first being introduced to the program, like the program was new to them. And then we had this other category of participants who were already part of the process. So the question around this was uh, on the groupings. How do we group them uh, with the realization that the others had already uh, done a number, of, a number of books? So we had um, uh, close to 50 uh, new uh, junior youth, that is uh, who studied Breezes of Confirmation. So we had three groups of Breezes of Confirmation. We had two groups of uh, Spirit of Faith. We had one group uh, on learning about excellence and one group on uh, human temple. So all these, uh, the regional coordinators were working alongside these um, uh, resources who were uh, ferried from another, uh, our sister region. So we were working alongside them uh, to see how uh, we can effect uh, the, the study itself, but also following closely what was enshrined in the, in the program. We live in a, in a strange and interesting time. There are, there, are, there are two main processes which are taking place in society. Some of them are disintegrative or destructive, and some of them are integrative and constructive. So this teaching conference represents one of the constructive forces or constructive processes that are taking place in the society. And uh, I can, we can tell just from the people who have attended this conference that there, there's an awakening. There's an awakening of the latent energies of the people of the region to really contribute and release the society building power that the faith has. And just by the sheer number of people who have attended this conference, we can tell that the society building power of faith is going to be released in a greater measure than it has ever been before. Previously, we used to just work with a number of individuals at the community level, uh, working together in the core community building activities. But now we can tell that uh, we've never had such a conference that brought together so many hundreds of people. So if we're able to really consolidate and work with this number, then we, clearly the society building power of the faith is going to be released in ever greater measures. And this is something that personally I look forward to going back to my community, working together with other youth, and preparing ourselves and lending our energies towards the society building processes that the Baha'i community is engaged in. conference. <laughs> Na andu onde makora wa makiga na nua ondo mo kumatoa soka de nua conferenci andu engi ni maugere makadi na ambere na gutuiri ombahai na ni marenda kuambere ya kudoma ido moiria ikorwa de si de nua kibahai. As a region for now, uh, the plans underway is to help uh, the friends in, at the grassroots to help the children who and the junior youth who attended the conference itself to continue with the study of the text and the grants in which they started during the teaching conference. Another thing that uh, we are looking forward to help the friends to uh, practice is uh, to strengthen the neighborhoods and the villages especially the centers of intense activities. Northeastern region is one of the regions that is inhabited by Kikuyus. 
and you see uh, most of the material that were put in place were, f were from that from the language the Kikuyu language and with that it helped most uh, most of the elderly uh, uh, people to be able to understand some of the concepts that were spoken about in the conference. The venue in which the teaching conference was held, the school management was uh, very happy to see the, the progress and what the, the Baha'i community are doing and the study they were uh, studying. And uh, they were they requested the regional team and the friends to also engage the friends in the school, the students, the teachers. And uh, as a as a region, we are thinking of uh, uh, sending some mobile tutors, mobile teachers, and also pair the the pioneer who is currently in the cluster with another pioneer, so to help the to run the activities that will be imagined so soon in that school. So as a region generally we could say that teaching conference has uh, helped us to gain a lot in terms of the implementation of uh, or building the world holder and uh, we hope that uh, this capacity will be raised even at the cluster level to be able to hold such conferences, not only the teaching conference, but also the women conference, the youth conference, and, uh, the, and such of the teaching conferences in future. For three remarkable days, the Northeast Teaching Conference became the epicenter of knowledge. People of all ages, from all walks of life, gather to explore the profound ideal set forth by the Universal House of Justice, the nine-year plan. In preparing for the teaching conference, we've had a lot of uh, discussions and trying to understand what is uh, the role of teaching conferences, what, what role can teaching conferences have um, on, um, uh, in a region uh, or in a country. And uh, we've, we've, uh, we've seen how uh, teaching conference can can foster that that uh, fellowship among us um, or strengthen those bonds of uh, unity among us the, the friends the believers and those who, who are working alongside them uh, we've we've seen quite a number of um, other benefits that could accrue from from a teaching conference but one that I think is very applicable to, to this region is uh, uh, bringing together a sizable uh, population of the believers from across the entire region uh, in the early days of the nine-year plan. So we've finished five cycles of the, and we're in our sixth cycle of the nine-year plan. Um, ensuring that a sizable number of the believers and those who are, um, who we can say are in the nucleus, they they are uh, in this conversation, they, they are able to understand or appreciate the aims and the goals of the nine-year plan. They, they are able to, uh, in the groups, discuss and uh, understand it in a more clear way. The dark and the moon of Toronto, the hot and cold, the red wavega, 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 the the red wavega, the red wavega, the 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 Dahota <laughs> In smaller, intimate groups, attendees delved into an array of thought-provoking themes. They pondered aspirations of a new world order, learning how to weave worship and service into the fabric of their lives. These themes um, were mainly being developed so that they could be deliberated on at the conference so that at least um, based on those themes, friends could um, you know, leave the conference uh, very ignited 
so that whenever they go back to their various respective uh, clusters, they are able to, to ignite those clusters and move them from one level to the next. One of the themes we have been discussing in this conference was uh, creating spiritually vibrant neighborhoods and villages and for us to intensify the programs of growth in our neighborhoods and our villages, we have to find ways to reach to every person in the community, every age group, uh, the youth, children, the elderly, so that we can all have unity of vision, unity of thought as we work for the betterment of uh, the society, the villages that we come from. When it comes to building uh, vibrant communities, we are told one of the ways we can use is uh, hosting devotional meetings and that the families and the friends we invite to these devotional meetings, they should take charge of uh, their own learning. They should take part in this process of bringing change to the communities and that if we work together with the friends uh, from the communities and neighborhoods that we come from, that way we will all be part of one common goal. Pia tukijaribu kuangalia vile tunaweza kufanya tukafanya hizi communities zika kuwa vibrant like pia tunajaribu kuangalia inajaribu kuzungumzia vile nini the collaborative among families inakuwa. So like wakati hizi families zina zinaanza ku focus kwa the neighbor kwa, kwa the neighborhood na wanakuwa na that concrete plan about that neighbor ne, neighborhood. So wakianza ku kukutana pamoja na wale other friends ndio tunajaribu kuona vile pia hizo activities zinazidi kuwa vibrant along so it is the work of the families ambazo wanakaa wanaanza ku plan about the neighborhood so it is wanajaribu kutonyesha the importance of collaborating collaboration among families we are told that even the clusters that are on the same continuum of growth can help each other try to move to the next level of growth, like the first milestone clusters can work together with the first milestone clusters, try to advance to the second milestone clusters, and the same with the second milestone and the third milestone clusters, so that we all move together and ensure that uh, we reach out to every uh, villages, every neighborhood, every communities, uh, and involve them in these community endeavors. The present time both spiritual and material cultures must assume a global one inclusive approach for solving the emerging problems of the, the community. The impact of growth that uh, we'll have on this region, I believe, uh, and that what we have been uh, seeing and uh, witnessing in the neighborhoods that we come from is appreciation to the importance of education. Uh, parents and children uh, have learned to take charge of or to understand the importance of education, spiritual education, material education. And we are told that both the spiritual and material education should go hand in hand for us to be able to uh, help better this world because without the spiritual uh, education, uh, we are told that uh, we will, we need both spiritual and material education in order to, to be better participants in this process of change. They discuss the progression of cluster along the continuum of development, striving to create spiritually vibrant neighborhoods and villages. <laughs> Neta tokeka niguo thino ihote gucejia. Ndu andu maronio kindu kira kiraga kira gitumite guko kwina mathina maingi muno muno guko guko thi totori horo wa thi yothe. 
ni kwaga na maudhi ma kiroho ndu thura ma undu ta kihoto uko twina wedani uko tugishiraniria ucio ni undu ura ungituma thino ithie na mbere na muno uko tukihoya ngai na tuthoya ngai tunyitanite tutagwenda kumenya kana umete dini riku kana ya mudebo riku no tukanyitana gata matura twasamana gata group cia family tugasamana gya kiroko tukituka hoya hamuguo no tuhote guteithia andu mato kuri na madira mara mothe mena mu tori to yakoni ta mayuthi mako matura ini mena madira maingi muno no acho ni mathire dawa ini no acho ni makire maundu macho mangi mothe ginya atumia juku na ki icio cio the tukero bahaura no rehete dawa na dawa ya bahaura arehete ni yago tunyithidani duothe ni yago tuma tunyitane ni yago tuma tukoro tukishamania hamwe tukeyuria na tatungika to guthi na mbere ki na kiroho na ginya guthi na mbere na undu wa mikarire tukeyuria guku gwitu ni thana riko twina gu Tena dina rigi wa boga tena dina rigi wa mabira ne dawika oyidi tondu bahora ne tuhete mfudu ya magi tuma hinyara bitu na go widu e tohote ku ruta ru twa ruta doko na adwa ma odu ma shema ki roho na ma odu ma shema mi karire mara ko mayo koro magi di hamu hamu this conference was more than just words It was an experience that engaged the heart and soul. Artistic expressions and poignant poems filled the air. During the conference, uh, the junior youth uh, could prepare some arts uh, in line with what they had studied uh, from the conference, but also outside the conference, what they had studied in the communities. So they prepared very wonderful presentations. And these presentations were performed during the uh during the larger group uh, during the plenary sessions uh with the with the other the larger group so it was very interactive and um uh, at the end of the space the junior youth managed to uh do a service activity uh which also the children joined in they cleaned the environment the vicinity where we had the uh the the conference and it was also uh, it was so encouraging uh that even the management of the school was so touched uh, by what these uh, young souls were were actually doing uh that they were trying to uh foster this aspect of service to uh to to their communities <laughs> Lecho, I na kiyokire le muno, na na kiyutire le muno. 
Nia hanya bo atu gira nanti tu siui. Nai sia tu tadi dia mono hui dia conference. Tony tu siui na ngo. Sika tu ma du ma menye ura ma ngi nuko ma ika hit na we te ma ngi nuko ma ika ta isi uwo. Aka di horo wa be dani. Horo aku nyi tani ra. Horo wa uko tu gi fota ma di ko ma ba ha ura mi tori nevi tu. Nai nai tu tadi dia bo shaka shira da ka omo dani omo dani shaka 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 tadi dia mono. The Northeast Teaching Conference in Kutus was not just a conference. It was a celebration of human potential, a journey towards a better world. We learned Tolong kau hadir awet kau, awet kau tarik muhodi, ni mukuran ni mudaatu. Dah soka, tolong nado ikut mu noita roya bahaya yang sagu. Eh, ada tu kau tu orang kan nado isu gisi agai. Aku mana mian nado mian nado mian nado mian nado nado roya bahaya ni jogo. Nono dah soka dia bahaya uraga tu. Nito do orang korang modu atu ah huera lekera. Abahaya ada gino marah di nado beret nak kau kaya gai jago tu orang kemi gayo. Joki ali ariyo the mara dode kire conferencei nogado na mudo wa the siri gia ke ehusikete wete kio ni wete kio ni wa conferencei no edi zere mete na niku haya gai muno ahe kiri dikano kia mau do Maria Mario na muno muno kuhodera wete kio todo wete kio tari na na mudo doge di na bere na na doge zere ma. We have analyzed our challenges. We discovered that we are almost facing the same challenges, but now we came up with a solution. That is going to be solid towards advancement of all the activities that are taking place in these clusters. I believe uh, we'll be uh, more advanced than we have been growing in the past uh, times because we have learned how to teach better, and that is one of the ways we use to reach out to friends. <laughs> di nyonya asyik hari asyik hari sio, dah mohon aja dia nak, ni dah mah asyik ana, mah asyik ana, ni aku kalau nak ni dia hari dia, ni aku kalau na human resources, dia ini dah mula dia asyik hari sio. There was a a very interesting question that I remember was discussed in one of the groups that I was in around. Uh, what can be said about the state of receptivity in our region and in the discussions that that ensued in that then uh, it really helped quite a number of the friends to reflect on um, on uh, effective mechanism to teach the faith in our region and so this is one of the main takeaways for me from from this, this teaching conference that <clears throat> we have a big population uh, uh, out of the 600 plus people that attended this conference, we see the love that they have for the faith and we see uh, the contribution that they would be willing to make uh, towards the, uh, the, the teaching goals, towards the goal, uh, goals for the region for the nine years. Uh, my takeaway from this conference ni kumenyorea gudi kumenyorea gutwalidia the four activities in Ambere. Don't do the no Yoshio. Those co activities go for all in Ambere. Manakaria Kumanatri, oh, wait to kill Nevito. Nan only two o getoma, Kebahai, Yedina. Only two getoma, a dwarde, Adi, Mahota Kumena, Mahota Kumena, the little Nabahara, water goes over Koya. Who took a Utro you at the reading. Lau ni aku kau ni mete itu rakyat yang buat ini. Nia setuju atau kau ni tanya nak apa yang buat? Kau ni tanya nak apa? Tu saya kau yori ya. Nia tato kau kau ni buat siapa? Si si tu siapa itu orang? Nih kau jadi ada mana orang? Nih kau tu hati kau hoya ga? Nih kau tu hati kau tuari dia mikari orang naber? Nih tu orang hoya ga? Nih tu orang yang kau tu tadi dia? Nih kau tu hati kau kau kini dia mufa kau yua mian kakeda? Tono tu orang tono tu orang kau teriiri. Oh tono mau doa bahagai. Tu orang kau dia. Tolong hekor dulu kita rekodi me, hekor dulu rekodi me, hekor dulu kau nak kau nak idiom. No, nunggu kau dah siapa dah cipta dia mai nak ikut. Orang konferensi no hekor terdia dekat dan di plan. Nukau angin ada antu ingin, karena eh tiki ingin makro medin yang awi tiki. Antu ingin makro medin yang awi tiki.
one one thing to uh, that I could uh, highlight in terms of the goals, we know <coughs> we know the uh, the goal um, the two measurable outcomes that we see in the thirtieth December message. Um, one about uh, opening up more clusters. This region is uh, has uh, was is divided into 144 clusters, and uh, right now there is uh, 28 of them that have a problem with growth. And that came out in the discussions during the conference. And the friends were reflecting on uh, what to take to get 100 clusters uh, from the current 28 to 100 to to have a problem of growth at whatever level of intensity. And so there were those the discussions in this conference have been very practical on how we can approach this, how we can, uh, how we are able to ensure that we draw on the the um, contribution of each one of the friends across the region. We see each other as members of one community, recognizing that together we are the protagonists in creating a spiritually and materially prosperous society. After the, 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 the conference, we have been able to see um, a, new, a new growth in various aspects. For example, uh, we are seeing that various local spiritual assemblies that, they are, that were not able to meet there before. Right now, we are seeing a little bit of more frequency in the number of meetings of some of these local spiritual assemblies. Uh, in the cluster where we held the conference, that is uh, Kerogoya cluster, it's a, it's a first milestone cluster. It had received its first pioneer just shortly before the, 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 the start of the teaching conference. So in this Kerogoya cluster, the response from the neighboring places where we held the teaching conference, we've seen quite a response and people wanting to find out more about the Baha'i faith. So again, uh, the, another theme of the teaching conference that, that was to teach more diversity directly has been realized because we have gotten more opportunities to teach uh, directly uh, about the faith and to tell more and more people about uh, the faith of Baha'u'llah. In the host cluster, the Kurgoya cluster, we had uh, a number of people declaring. Actually, on the, uh, during the conference, two people declared within the cluster and the other people declared who had come to the friends who had been invited to the conference from different clusters across the region also uh, accepted the faith. The older people in the faith, that is the people who are going to their 50s and to their 60s, the feedback we've gotten from them is that this was a great opportunity for them to come and see their very old Baha'is who they used to meet in other conferences that were held long, long ago. So in this uh, conference, it also served to renew friendships and to renew bonds of, uh, of the Baha'i friends. And uh, we are very happy at the pace, uh, at, uh, the pace that we are able now to, to take from the fruits that we have garnered from the teaching conference. And it's a, an, an awesome opportunity that we're also getting to learn more and more about how we, we can uh, um, harvest as much uh, from uh, the resultant uh, teaching conference as we forge ahead in our region. The teaching conference which was held in our region at Kutus bring a lot of impact, starting with the, the Matatus, which the Matatos is bring the participant, they came to know the person of Bahaura. Also uh, to the to the shopping malls because even the, the those shopping malls the people come came to know the revelation of Bahaura. Also the the surrounding clusters, mostly in the in the Krinyaganyeri units, the we have the increase of activities in our cluster because of that because the, because of that conferences because even the enrollment of the people to the faith have increased. Those who attended, they dispatched that message of how, how they have been figuring the Baha'i faith. Well, those who attended come, come up with another pictures and most people embrace the faith. And that is the more the reason why uh, activities in the nearing cluster like Moya, Moya Centro, Moya East, and Kirogoya, and the Kirogoya cluster, which was the host of the conference, have increased some activity. Even the, some academies within that cluster 
they have embraced the faith and they have requested us whether we can take our program to their school. That was a great impact. Though we are, we are, we are trying and we are hoping to maintain that, that school that has embraced our programs. Because uh, in, in that cluster, we, we had hosted that teaching conference uh, known as Kerouac Cluster. There were two Baha'is, and now we have managed uh, to have a, a dick land of many Baha'is there, uh, and we are hoping by 2024 Ridwans we will we, we elect the, the, the LSA, the first LSA in Kerouac Cluster. Uh, and then also, uh, we, find we have an impact from the neighboring clusters and other clusters that brings their, uh, their, 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 their peoples to that conference. Like Kimoya, we have, incre uh, have an increase of, uh, increase of activities of juniors, junior classes, and also uh, people of Mwea and the other, uh, 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 and other areas uh, surrounding that area where the, the teaching conference was happened. I've come to know about the vision of Baha'u'llah. As the conference concluded, it left behind a legacy of inspiration, a shared vision, a vision of a world transformed through education, unity, and love. Yeah.